All right, guys, welcome back to Just Pillin Barbecue. Uh, thank you for stopping back by. Um, if you like my videos and, and like what you see, give me a thumbs up, uh, comment below, and uh, please subscribe to my channel. Uh, today, we're going to be doing some carne asada, or my version of carne asada. Uh, I've got a two-pound flank steak here. I've trimmed it up just a little bit, but there wasn't a whole lot of trimming needed to be done. Um, it's a USDA Choice Angus uh, flank steak, two pounds. Um, and we're going to be putting it in a marinade first, and then we're going to put it on the grill, sear it up, and uh, make some good tacos out of it. So stay tuned. All right, guys, the first thing we're going to do is uh, put this in a marinade, and we're going to use a gallon-sized Ziploc bag. I hope this bag is big enough for this uh, two-pound flank steak. So we're going to get our bag opened up, and I'm going to use a pan underneath the bag just in case something were happen to leak. Uh, it's going to go into this pan. Now, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put our flank steak in the bag and get that part done okay and then once you get in the bag you can spread it back out a little bit make sure all the marinade gets on it all right now the first thing we're going to go in with is about two large or three small limes juice so this is the juice of right here i've got three uh, small limes that I juiced just a while ago. We've got two tablespoons of white vinegar. We have got a half a cup of orange juice. Put that in. And we have a quarter cup of good olive oil going into the bag. All right. Now in here I've got about four cloves of diced garlic cloves and one diced uh, jalapeno pepper, and that's going in. Make sure you get all that in there. Now you don't have to really finely dice the garlic, but you want it where it's gonna spread around in the marinade. And then I've got one cup of chopped fresh parsley going in. And just a note about the, I mean, uh, not parsley, cilantro. And just a note about the cilantro. I don't know where you get your cilantro, but it seems like every time I deal with cilantro from our store, um, it's really gritty, and I always have to wash it. And I, I wash the parsley and, and stuff like that too, but it, it doesn't really seem like it's gritty like the, the cilantro is. So just a tip, you might want to wash your cilantro and your fresh herbs before you start chopping them up and putting them in your marinade or, or putting them on your meat. Now we're going to go in with uh, some fresh cracked black pepper right in the bag. And some kosher salt. Probably a tablespoon, tablespoon and a half of that right in the bag. All right, now you can close that bag up, get some of the air out of it as much as you can. Zip it the rest of the way, and now you just want to kind of massage that marinade around. Get everything incorporated and get it all over the meat. Kind of spread it out a little bit, work it in. And now we're going to set this in the refrigerator for four or five hours, maybe, um, until we're ready to cook, and then we'll uh, meet you out at the grill. All right, guys, I just took it out of the uh, refrigerator, and uh, let me turn the light on, maybe you can see a little better. Um, and what I've done is I've rinsed a little bit of the bigger piece of the marinade off so they don't burn when we get them on the grill, and I blotted it a little bit. 
uh, to dry it off some with a paper towel. And now we're just going to coat it with some meat church fajita seasoning. We're not going to put a heavy coat, we're just going to put a light coat. But we want some of those fajita flavors to shine through. And this has got a little bit of lemon in it as well, and you can really pick that up. Coat the other side, and you can tell by the feel of the meat, as well as the color, that the marinade has done its job. And we're gonna let this sit for about five minutes or so, and let the uh, coals get ready as soon as it gets ready. It'll be time to put it on. Folks, we're running about 425 probably on the charbroiled kettleman. That's what I'm going to be cooking it on today. Searing it high and fast. And uh, it's time to get them on. Now we're up to about 450. And it's time. Man, that smells amazing with that marinade. We're gonna let it go for probably about four minutes. Twist it, probably about three more minutes and then we're gonna flip it over. All right, folks, we've been going about eight minutes total on that side, and now it's time to flip it over. See what we've got. Oh, yeah. Look at that caramelization. Beautiful. All right, guys, we're at 135, 138, and 140 down here on the center end. So it's time to get it off, take it inside, and let it rest. All right, this flank steak's been resting for about 10 minutes, and I'm gonna go ahead and cut into it and see what we've got. Now the grain is running this way, so we wanna cut across the grain so it's more tender. And let's see what we've got here. Juicy. Very nice. Maybe went a little too long, but it had some carryover cook time. Look at that. Very nice. Let's build us a taco. All right, first let's let's put us some meat on the bottom down there. Layer it up nice. Look at that. Now we'll go in with a little homemade guacamole. I'll put a link. Or there'll be an I card that shows up to give you the recipe for the homemade guacamole that I made today. Nice, fresh. And also on our car for the uh, homemade pico. Go on top.
a little bit of sour cream. And top it off with a little bit of Cholula. Hot sauce. All right, let's give it a taste test. First, let's just try the steak by itself. Mmm. Great steak flavor. You can get a hint of that marinade too, though. Tender, juicy, really juicy. A little hint of the rub. Very good. Dig into this taco here. Wow. Still get the beef flavor. With the freshness of that guacamole, pico de gallo comes through. Pretty nice shot at the little carne asada flank steak. Two pound flank steak, marinated for a little while. Seared off on the grill. Fresh guacamole, fresh pico de gallo. Can't beat it. Also, if you will, uh, if you like the video, give me a thumbs up, make a comment. I'll get back to you on it. Um, subscribe to my channel if you like what you're seeing. And uh, check the description box in the bottom down there. I've got some uh, affiliate links for Amazon for uh, my uh, Instant Read Temp Pro, the Charbroil Kettleman, uh, the Weber Chimney that I use, things like that. Uh, so check those out. Click those and they'll send you over to Amazon and uh, you can check those out as well. So, till next time, I'll be piddling.